battery mate. Putting the power into power sports. Since the 1990s, vastly improved batteries have been introduced into the power sport market. However, due to outdated charging and testing procedures, many shops still experience a high number of premature battery failures. Separate testers and chargers do not provide a complete and cost-effective solution. A load tester cannot distinguish between a deep discharged and a sulfated battery. Most smart chargers cannot recover sulfated batteries. Working together with passport vehicle manufacturers, TechMate designed a combination tester and charger, the Battery Mate. Battery Mate provides the dealer with a means to accurately diagnose and correct a client's battery problem in the shortest possible time. It enhances the service life of new and used batteries and so reduces the number of batteries that may be discarded prematurely. Battery Mate charges and reconditions sulfated or severely discharged batteries that a standard charger would not be able to charge. Batteries that are normally discarded are given a second life, saving the client money. Allow the battery to cool if hot to the touch and check it for physical defects. Switch on the main supply only after the battery is connected. Determine the battery type and model. Most recommended battery models are listed. Otherwise use the amp hour capacity rating to determine which range to select. Test current of up to 150 amps is available to test batteries delivering up to 330 cold cranking amps. Press and immediately release the test button. A resistive load test is applied for 3 seconds followed by a cooling period. A built-in sensor adjusts the test result according to ambient temperature. Select the charge time as indicated by the lights. Press the charge button and only if the MF symbol appears on the battery or if you know it is an absorbed glass matte type, press the MF button. Displayed are maximum charge current in amps, charge progress by charging stage and expired charge time as a percentage of what was selected. There are four charging stages. Desulfation to recover dead batteries, constant current which fills the battery to 70 to 80 percent of its capacity, constant voltage or absorption which fills the final 20 to 30 percent and maintenance which keeps the battery ready until charge time expires. A graphic illustration follows showing the charging algorithm for standard filler cap batteries and AGM batteries with MF mode activated. The MF mode allows constant current charging up to 16,9 volts. Thereafter it will proceed to absorption or constant voltage stage. Exhaustive tests have shown that extended charging at voltages higher than 14,5 volts causes the battery temperature to rise to levels where the battery will suffer internal damage. The MF timer controls the battery temperature by limiting the constant current period to 25 minutes after the voltage has passed through 14,5 volts. A load test can be performed once a yellow charge status light is lit or once the selected charge time has expired. The 15 second test is automatically selected to ensure that surface charge will not influence the final result. Without changing any selections, press and release the test button. Once the load light turns off, check the test result. Check the battery for physical defects. Top up the electrolyte if the battery has removable filler caps. The minimum 4 hour charge light indicates that the battery is deep discharged and may require desulfation. After range selection you may press test to confirm. 
Select at least four hours of charge time and press the charge button. The first stage indicates that a special recovery mode has been activated. A voltage of up to 25 volts is applied to the battery for half the selected time period. Once the battery has recovered sufficiently, the normal charge cycle will continue until the selected charge time expires. Perform a load test on the battery. A further charge and retest cycle can be performed to confirm the result. New batteries should be filled with acid or premixed electrolyte exactly according to the battery manufacturer's instructions. Allow the acid to settle for at least 30 minutes before fitting the sealing or filler caps. It's important to remember that even factory filled batteries must be reactivated to negate any ill effects that they may have suffered during transit or storage. Select New on the charge time selector which will activate the charge cycle for 30 minutes. If time allows, charge for a longer period. After charging, the battery is ready to be tested. An OK result means that the battery can now be used immediately or safely stored for the recommended period. You may extend the test period by holding down the test button until the 15 second LED lights up and then releasing. A longer test will show up batteries that have reduced capacity in one or more cells. A wall mounting bracket is included for convenient storage and access. Standard safety features include protection against reverse polarity connection and accidental short circuiting. I find when a, when a battery is extremely dead, it's got very low voltage and, and I've charged it on a normal charger and it's never recovered itself completely. It just it's always stays a little weak. With a battery mate, I've connected it up and um, after maybe two to three, four hours, it's, it's recovered the battery totally, repaired everything inside and, and the battery's running like it was before. Battery Mate. Putting the power into power sports.